everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb and I'm going to show you how to manage reviews on your Magenta 2 website. Okay, um, so what are reviews? What are product reviews? Uh, a review is when a customer goes to a product page and actually goes to submit a review. So let's just say, let's just submit one right now. Um, so my name is Joe and then summary, this is a great product a above expectations okay so now I submitted a review right here and I click on submit and now that the review got submitted for moderation okay so if I go to my back end right here to marketing user content and reviews now I can see the review I just created right here okay so uh, what I can actually do is I can click on the review and view the product, of course, uh, and look at all the information for the reviews themselves. Okay, so what store is it? Um, is the review live or not? Is it approved, pending, not approved? So right now it's a pending because we need to review it, right? Uh, what is the information? I can actually edit them. Maybe they made a typo or something like that. And now I can submit it. So if I approve this review, I can click on approve and click on save. And once I did that, you can see that the status right here is approved, not pending. Okay, so if I go back to this page, I can see, <clears throat> excuse me, that there's one review. And if I go down to the review section, I can actually see the review, all that information. Um, so that's it, basically. This is a way for you to gather customer information, uh, help other customers find stuff, and just get feedback from your customers. So it's a really, really nice thing. Okay, um, so one more thing which is very important. Okay, so uh, what you can also do here is you can actually manage what types of uh, information do you want to gather for your reviews. So this is the default Magento that someone would enter nickname, summary, and review. Now you also have the option if you click on stores, attributes, and rating to actually set up different types of reviews. So for example, you can add uh, you see, for example, maybe quality right here, okay? And you can specify which, uh, let's actually add a new one so it's easier to understand. So let's add a new rating and let's just call it, um, let's call it a, I don't know, feeling, okay? So how, or let's call it excitement, okay? So you're going to ask your customers how excited were they a, on this product when they got it for example this is just you know up to you you can have a star rating you can have a, just general information more feedback longer comments whatever you want okay and I'm gonna select <coughs> excuse me I'm gonna select all stores I'm gonna make it active and I'm gonna select which position which sort order is it the first one in the list uh, is it before summary is it after review what where is that so let's just say it'll be the last one so I'm gonna select a very high number the lower the number for example one or zero um, the higher it is and the bigger the number the lower it is okay so I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna click on save okay so now I have one called excitement right here and I'm going to refresh okay right here Okay, great. So now if you notice, I created a new one called Excitement, and now it actually came into the review. So now when a user reviews something, now I have another field that I can play with. So um, you basically have different ways to kind of add more features, um, and uh, it's a really nice way to, to kind of play around. Uh, so hope you enjoyed this video, and let me know if you have any questions. We'll be happy to help. Thanks.